Who wants to know why you guys are back together? Or Not yet. You guys are just friends? Yeah. Josh, look up with me. It's just so heartbreaking having a person that you love so much treat you that way. Hi, loves. Your girl is back with another juicy recap for you guys. And y'all, it involves some pretty sad news. Josh Richards and Nessa Barrett have announced that they are officially over. Did any of you guys see that coming? In today's video, we're talking about Charlie and Lil Huddy speaking out about their relationship, Nessa Barrett and Josh Richards confirming their breakup and the rumors about it, Peaches threatening to hurt Malu Treveju and showing up at her house. Let's get right into it. Give it to me now! So, as many of y'all know, there has been some pretty interesting evidence going around that makes it seem like Charlie D'Amelio and Lil Huddy are back together. And you guys, the rumors have been going on non-stop. From sharing each other's clothes to creating TikToks together, many people were convinced that they were officially a couple again. Until Charlie finally decided to publicly speak about their relationship when asked about it by a paparazzi. And you cha-cha shippers out there well y'all about to be heartbroken there's rumors you and Lil Huddy are back together are those rumors true how true are those rumors <laughs> we're just friends you guys are just friends yeah. just enjoying your time in LA yeah. no ma'am no ma'am now what made people even more confused about all of this is that Charlie said they were just friends Lil Huddy on the other hand said that they are not dating yet yeah, everyone wants to know are you guys back together or not yet not yet not yet we're hello Let's celebrate that. So y'all might be asking, why did he say that? Well, according to some people, it seems like Charlie and Chase might just be hiding the truth, with the main reason being because Lil Huddy is 18 and Charlie is only 16. Um, does this mean that Lil Huddy is waiting for Charlie to be 18? He is waiting for her to be 18. I'm gonna be here for it if they start dating again. We're just friends. Isn't that what they said before? Anyways, loves, what do you think? Are Charlie and Chase hiding something? And do you think they will officially become a couple again? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure this isn't a huge surprise to y'all, but if you watched my recent video, you'll know that Nessa has been going through some personal problems these last few weeks. And well, many people were quick to speculate that Josh actually left Nessa, but Nessa was quick to deny these rumors by saying this on an Instagram live. You broke up with Josh, I didn't not. So when hearing this from Nessa, you would think everything was good between them, right? Well, no. Just just a day after this, Nessa and Josh decided to drop the bomb by announcing that they finally broke up by posting a video on YouTube titled, We Broke Up. And just to give you guys a quick summary of what they actually said, well, they were basically just saying how social media has turned toxic for Nessa ever since she got into the public eye with Josh, and that they both couldn't take it and needed to mature. We realized we needed to mature and like we needed to like grow as people. I kind of like just started social media since I've been with Josh. Obviously, I've encountered a lot of hate and it's just very important for me right now to better myself in that aspect. But you guys, after this, Nessa and Josh luckily ended the video on a positive note, saying that they will always care for each other and that they truly were in love with each other. I personally have never seen two people love each other and care for each other as much as Josh and I. We just had a lot of growing to do still. Yeah, the last eight months that we've been together have been like the best eight months of Y'all, why am I getting so emotional? Oh my god. Anyways, loves, when the news about their breakup was finally announced, many were quick to start spreading rumors about the breakup, with some saying, she don't want the garlic knot anymore. He wasn't attracted to her. We been new. Didn't she confirm she was dating him? Anyways, my loves, what do you guys think about Nessa and Josh breaking up? Was the relationship getting too toxic for both of them? Let me know in the comments. You guys, guess who is back. Well, I mean, I guess you knew because you've seen the title. You guys, Peaches is back, and she might be on her way to Mala Treveju's house to hurt her again. Y'all, I ain't even making this up. As you guys might remember, earlier this year, Peaches claimed that she broke into Malu's house and stole a shirt from her. And let's just say Malu was not here for it. Don't come to my house. I don't know where you take a picture outside. That's not cool. Anyways, you guys, after all of this mess happened, Peaches has now once again taken to her Instagram to threaten Malu, basically telling her followers that she was about to go to Malu's house and be her up. Um, what? I'm going to Malu Treveju's house again, but this time to put her up. 
Y'all, someone please call the cops and arrest Peaches ASAP. Anyways, loves, after Peaches posted this, Malu was quick to hit back by going on Instagram Live, basically saying that if Peaches wants to post up at her house, she better know that she has a bunch of friends that'll fight Peaches too. Y'all, this is getting kind of serious. She wants to come, I'll have my whole squad waiting for her. But you guys, the weirdest part in all of this is that when Malu finally responded saying she would fight back, Peaches responded again and started crying because Malu spoke up. What the f I was nearly a Malu fan for so many years. It's just so heartbreaking having the person you love so much treat you that way. What the f does that mean? You guys, Peaches really do be playing with us. No. Words. Anyways, my loves, do you think that Peaches would actually try and hurt Malu? Also, what do you think of today's recap? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you so much.